everyone, this is Nadia from the Cognito Forms team. In this video, we're going to learn all about setting up email notifications on your forms. Email notifications enable you to get notified whenever form entries are submitted or updated. But they can also be sent to just about anyone with an email address, whether it's the person filling out your form or someone else involved in your workflow. To get started, open the Build page and select Workflow at the top. Now you'll need to determine what actions should trigger your email to send. For example, you may want to receive an email every time a new form is submitted. By default, your form should include a submit action, which you can access by either selecting the action name or selecting the submit button at the bottom of the form. The settings that appear on the left-hand side allow you to control what happens when someone hits the submit button. In this case, you'll want to add a new email under Send Emails. In this dialog, you have several options when it comes to customizing your notification. Starting from the top, enter the From Display Name and Reply To Address as either static values or fields on the form. By default, emails are sent from notifications at cognitoforms.com. However, if your organization is on the Team Plan or Enterprise Plan, you can set up a verified email domain to send emails on behalf of your own domain. Next, enter the to address. Like the from address, the to address can be a static email address or an email field on the form. If you'd like to include a link to the form's entry within the email notification, you can add a role-based workflow link using the Share Workflow Link button. The role you select will determine the role of the user when accessing the shared workflow link. The email subject can be changed to whatever you like. You can even insert field data, like the first and last name, directly into the subject line. The same thing goes for the email message itself. The last two sections, Include and Attach, allow you to include or exclude certain elements in your email, like the organization and form name, entry details, and any files uploaded to the form. You can also include a PDF or Word copy of the submitted entry using the Documents dropdown. At the bottom, use the Send option to further customize the criteria for sending the email. For example, on an employment application, you can alert different people depending on the position the applicant selects. Finally, make sure to save your changes to both the email dialog and the build page. To test your notification, open your form's public link and submit a new entry. Shortly after, you should receive a notification in your inbox with all your data included such as entry details, generated documents, and attached files. You can also check the status of your notifications from the Entries page. Just select an entry and open the Activity section at the top to see the email history. Last but not least, organizations on the Team and Enterprise plans can use the Share function at the top. This function allows you to manually email a link to the entry at any time. If you'd like to learn more about setting up email notifications in Cognito Forms, be sure to check out our user guides or get in touch with our support team.